Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I'm glad to hear that uh, Rosa, good evening, Jose Ramirez and Eric. Thank you for being on time. Gracias por estar a tiempo. I have a question. First of all, um, well, we didn't have any home. Uh, yes, we, we do have a homework, right? Uh, how did you or did you do something yesterday for vacation? Did you practice your English or something else? Did you do the homework? Or did you just uh went to the no, cemetery? Um, no, um I was sick. You were and sick in the last class. Yeah, the last class I can I can stay. And I don't know um what is the the homework. the homework and what do you have jose ramirez i i if, um earache an earache it was like an infection or yes. something like that yes it's an infection okay i'm sorry to hear that but you're better now um yeah yeah oh. um i use medicine Okay, so you went to the doctor and he gave you medicine. Yes. Okay, perfect. So it's good uh, to hear that. Probably uh, you will be able to stay the class, the whole class today, right? Okay. Yes. Um, yes I no. want to. Uh huh. I want to hear from my, my classmate and I try to understand about the homework. Okay, yes. Uh, let me know if you if you feel like if you don't feel uh comfortable to practice or to participate, let me know. Uh that wouldn't be any problem, right? But it's it's good to hear that you're better, that you feel better now. Okay, very good. Now we are going uh to start with the class. Just let me ask you, have you worked in the platform? Have you had any problems or did you finish everything? Because tomorrow is the last class, right? So I don't want you to have any problem with the diploma or anything like that. So do you have any question for the platform? Preguntas de la plataforma? Alguien tiene alguna pregunta para poder solventarla en este momento y así que no tengan ningún problema con, con el diploma. Oh no, teacher! I, I already. You finished already. already. The diploma. Ah, you already. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You already have the diploma. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So uh, let me know if you have any question about that, uh, about the final exam or anything. If you don't have questions, but well, it's okay, right? So tomorrow is the last class. Finally, we are going to finish this module. So uh, hopefully, we are going to. Well, we are going to rest a little bit, right? After this module. So we are going to finish right now with past models, right? I told you to investigate a little bit of past models. Models, we already studied that. And also uh, we were checking opposites, right? Or antonyms. So eso es lo que estábamos estudiando en la clase pasada, los antonymos or opuestos, ¿verdad? We had a uh, different... Uh, opposites, for example, accept and refuse, right? We have admit and deny. We had agree and disagree. We had borrow and lend. Who remembers, who remembers the meaning of borrow and lend? Borrow. What is the meaning of borrow? Um, that borrow is take mm -hmm. and lend is give. Exactly. Borrow is to take, right? To take someone. Pedir prestado para que me lo den a mí, ¿verdad? To take. Y lend es dar. Dar prestado, ¿verdad? So that is the difference. Um, 
So you can say, can you lend me, right? Can you lend me your book, right? Me puedes dar prestado. Can you borrow me? No, right? Can you borrow me? No. You are borrowing something from someone, right? But you, can you lend me? Me puedes dar prestado? Can you lend me? But borrow is pedir, ¿verdad? O, o como que te están pidiendo algo prestado, ¿ok? You are, that, that somebody, someone is taking from you, right? Someone is taking. So that is the difference between borrow and lend. Pedir prestado y dar prestado, ¿ok? And also we have enjoy and dislike. Enjoy, dislike, opposites. We have fine, lose, marry, divorce, save, spend, forget, remember, and that's it, right? So we are going to remember a little bit of opposites right now. For example, what is the opposite for accept? What is the opposite for accept? Jenny. Let's see. Jenny. Mm. For accept is refuse, right? Aceptar, rechazar, exactly. What is the, the opposite for admit? Um. Uh -huh. Danny. Danny, deny, right? Deny, deny, deny the, uh, negar, deny. exactly. Negar, deny. What is the opposite for disagree? Agree. Agree, agree exactly. What is the opposite for dislike? Enjoy. Enjoy, very good. What is the opposite of divorce? Mary. 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 Mary, right. Mary, exactly. What is the opposite for find? Um, lose. Lose, right. Find, lose. What is the opposite for forget? Yes. Remember. Remember, very good. What is the opposite of lend? Yes. Um, borrow. Borrow, exactly opposite, right? Land and borrow. And the last one, what is the opposite of save? Spend. Spend. Pen, exactly. Save, spend, verdad? Ahorrar, gastar. Very good. Perfect. So I want you to tell me your opposites. I don't know if someone investigated opposites. Yes. Okay, what would be the opposite that you that you found? Decorate. Uh huh. And destroy. Very good. Decorate and destroy, right? Very good. Perfect. Another one. Can anybody tell me another one? Um, another opposite. Smart. Uh, smart. Uh huh. Who teacher? Pool. No, smash. Ah, uh, smash. Smash. Inflate. Smash like this. In inflate. Inflate. Okay, yeah, it can be possible. Yes, yeah, smash, inflate. What else? Somebody else? Short, short and tall. Short. Very good. Short. Thank you, Eric. And tall. Very good. Sure and tall. That is opposite. Very good. Another one. Um, a smile. Smile. Okay. Um, cry. Cry. Yes. Very good. Smile and cry. Perfect. Another one. No. Uh huh. Hey. No. Um, hey. Low, very good, wow. low. Yeah. And high, uh -huh. right? High. Very good. High, very good. Low and high, right? Very good, perfect. Another one? Slow. Yeah. Slow, and what is the opposite of slow? Fast. Fast, very good, fast. Another one? Ask. Sorry? Sorry? Ask and Ask. answer. 
and answer. Very good. Ask and answer. Very good. Preguntar, responder. Very good. Another one. Go and stop. Go, stop. Perfect. Go and stop. Perfect. Another one. Discover. Discover. Uh -huh. Cover up. Cover up. Very good. A phrasal verb. Perfect. Okay, do you have any other or that's it? Inside. Both. Inside. Outside. 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 Sorry, which one, Carla? Broad and narrow. Narrow. It's B R O A D. And the other is narrow. Ah, broad. Yes, narrow and broad. Yeah, exactly. Narrow. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of narrow, Carla? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't remember. <laughs> Only I write that. <laughs> angosto, right? Angosto, right? And broad oh, okay. is ancho, right? Very good. Perfect. Very good. Perfect. Do you have any uh, somebody else or that's it? Yeah. Um, sorrow. Sorrow. Sorrow uh -huh. and happiness. Sorrow and happiness. Very good. Perfect. What about uh, fire and water? No, fire. Right? Yeah, it can be opposite. They are opposites. Yeah, they are elements, but they, they can be opposites. It depends. Very good. Perfect. Another one. Explorer. Explorer. Live. What, is, what is the opposite of explorer? Live. Lead. Live. De abandonar. Algo así. How do you spell it? <laughs> Maria? L E A V. L E A V E. Live. Uh -huh. Okay, explore and live. Yeah, you can, or stay and live also, right? Perfect. Another one, or that's it? Always. Always. And what is the opposite of always? Never. Never. Perfect. Very good, thank you, Juan Linares. Always, yes, never. Yes, yes. no, yes <laughs> and no, right? Exactly. Very good. Yes and no. Black and white, right? Yeah. Very good. Perfect. Perfect. Do you have any other, or that's it? Day. Sorry, Noe. Day. Day. Night. Night. Right. Very good. Perfect. Okay, so we have a lot of opposites now. Perfect. So we have decorate, love. love. Uh -huh. What else? Love and hate. Love and hate. Very good. Love and hate. Love <laughs> and hate. Very good. Very good. Another one or that's it? Borrow. Uh, borrow. And top. Sorry, can you repeat it? Borrow. Like this? Borrow? Uh, the, the another one is... Uh, in top top <laughs> like this maria or carla which one borrow and top yes. the... no I, I don't know yes um, borrow borrow right and left right and left exactly right and left perfect so, uh, if, Carla, if that, this was the borrow and top, right? No, or it, top. B O T T. B O T T. T. Bottom. What was this? Okay. Bottom, uh, bottom and, and top. Bottom. top. Exactly. Uh -huh. Bottom at the bottom, right? Al fondo, top, uh -huh. al hasta el principio, al top, verdad? A very yes. good, perfect. Bottom and top, right and left. What else do we have? This. Peace, war, war, peace, war, exactly, war, peace and war, exactly. So that's it, right? We have a lot. Do we? Do we have any other? Alguno uh, más? Awake. Awake, and what is the opposite of awake? Sleep. Sleep. Yes, yeah, sleep or sleep. Very good. Awaken, slept. I'm a walk, right? Very good. Perfect. 
awake and sleep. So we have a lot of vocabulary. We are going to check it right now. Decorate, for example, and destroy, right? Smash. What is the meaning of smash? ¿Qué significa smash? What is the meaning? Aplastar. Aplastar. And inflate. Inflate. Inflate, right. Smash. Inflate. Short. What is the meaning of short? Short, right. Corto. Corto, bajo. Yeah. And tall. Tall, right. Very good. Smile, smile, right? And cry, right? Opposite, very good. We have low and high. What is the meaning of low? Bajo. Bajo and high? Alto. Alto, Alto. Really, really good. Slow, what is the meaning of slow? Yes. The no. right? Lento, exactly. No. Slow and fast? Rápido. 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 Very good. Ask and answer, right? You already know that. Ask and answer. Go and stop. We have another one. We have discover. What is the meaning of discover? Descubrir. And cover up. What is the meaning of cover up? Cubrir. Cubrir, exactly. Yes, Maria Siwenza. Go ahead. I can see a screen. You cannot see the screen. Sorry. Let's see if I will stop sharing it and I will share it again. Uh, can you see it right now? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Uh, we have inside and outside, right? What is the meaning of inside? Dentro. Dentro, Dentro. and outside. Fuera. 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 Narrow. What is the meaning of narrow? Narrow, I don't know. Angosto, right? And narrow. It's a narrow hole or weight, right? And broad, ancho, right? Broad, the opposite. Let's see. We have sorrow. What is the meaning of sorrow? <laughs> like sadness, right? Very good. Sorrow. And happiness, the opposite, right? Happiness, happy. We have fire and water, right? Fire and water <laughs> elements. Explore. And leave. Yes. We have always, always, and never. Yes and no, right? You already know the meaning of that. Day and night. Love, hate. We have bottom and top. What is the meaning of bottom? Bottom. Uh -huh. At the bottom, profundo, or algo que está abajo, ¿verdad? And top, at the top, arriba, o algo que está sobre, ¿verdad? Right and left, right, right, right-handed or left-handed, right? Peace and war and awake and sleep. Perfect. So we have a lot of uh, words. I want you to practice them and I want you to use them because tomorrow we are going to speak a lot, right? We have an activity to speak. You are going to be actors, but that will be for tomorrow, okay? Para mañana, the last class, okay? We are going to put into practice everything that we study. Vamos a poner en práctica todo. So we are going to check the last time uh, these words, just the pronunciation. Si tienen preguntas con la pronunciación o el, la, la, el significado, díganme, okay? So let's go to repeat really fast. Decorate. 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 Destroy. 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 Smash. 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 Inflate. 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 Short. 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 Tall. 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 Smile. 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 Cry. 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 Low. 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 High. 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 Slow. 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 Fast. 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 Ask. 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 Answer. 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 Go. 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 Stop. 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 Discover. Discover. Cover up. Cover up. Cover up. Inside. Inside. Outside. Outside. Narrow. Narrow. Broad. Broad. Sorrow. Sorrow. Happiness. Happiness. Fire. Fire. Water. Water. Explore. Explore. Leave. 
Always. 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 Never. Never. Yes. Yes. No. No. Day. Night. Night. Love. Love. Hate. Hate. Bottom. Bottom. Top. Top. Right. Right. Left. Left. Peace. Peace. Were. Were. Awake. Awake. Sleep. Sleep. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Congratulations. Very good pronunciation. So hopefully you are going to pronounce the words next time uh, perfectly, right? In a perfect way. Perfect. Let's see. Today, uh, today's objective is introduced to past models in order for them to talk about actions in the past. Yeah. So we are going to talk about suggestions. Do you know what a suggestion is? Sugerencia. Sugerencia, very good. We are going to listen to people talk about recent predicaments and then check the best suggestions for each one. So let me uh, open it here. Just one moment, please, because I don't have it open. And then we are going to know, we're going to study how to, how to create or how to uh, make suggestions, right? How to do suggestions. So let me see here. Just let me open the listening because I have it here. Are you able to listen? Not right. No. Not right now. Okay, no, just no, no. one moment, please. Okay. Now we'll share the screen and you will be able to listen to it, okay? This is just an example how to make suggestions, right? Okay. Now we are going to listen. Please let me know if you're able to listen. If you can listen to it, let me know also. Just here. Okay. Number two, exercise seven, perspectives. I felt terrible. Part A. Listen to people talk about recent predicaments. Then check the best suggestion for each one. What a disaster. I spilled juice on my parents' new couch. They weren't home, so I just turned the cushions over. What should I have done? You should have told them about it. You should have cleaned it immediately. You should have offered to buy them a new couch. Okay, so what was the predicament? What was the problem in the first one? Spill, he spill, um, he spilled. What did he spill? Um, como derramar, uh huh, derramar, spill, derramar, but what beer, coffee, what did he spill? Juice, exactly. Juice. Where, where did he spill juice? The in sofa. My new couch on sofa. the sofa in the new couch in the new couch sofa or in the cushions right in the cushions and it says the suggestions you should have told them about it you hmm. should have cleaned it immediately or you should have yep. offered to buy and buy them a new couch what would you what is the best suggestions for you you should have cleaned it immediately you should have cleaned it immediately. Very good. That would be a very good suggestion, right? Because probably to buy them a new couch, that's too, too, too much money, right? Very expensive. And you should have told them about it. Yes, but it's better to clean them, right? Let's see the next predicament. The next one. I forgot my best friend's birthday. I felt terrible. So I sent him a text to apologize. What would you have done? I would have called him right away. I would have sent him a nice birthday present. I would have invited him out for a meal. 
<laughs> okay, some feedback there, right? So we have the the second uh the second predicament. What was the problem there? What was the problem? Yes, he forgot, right? The best friend's birthday, and he felt terrible. And the suggestions were: I will have called him right away. I will have sent him a nice birthday present. I would have invited him out for a meal. What is the best suggestions for you? Hmm. I will have right been present. Sorry? I will have invited oh, him oh. out for a meal. I will have invited him out for a meal. Yeah, that's a very good suggestion. Yeah, to, to invite him, right? To eat something, right? Sorry, I forgot, but I will pay for the pizza, right? Or the chicken, right? Very good. Yeah. What would be the best suggestions for you, Noe? I would have called him right away. And what what would you have said? Uh, well, because I uh, in uh, excuse me because forgot forgot. <laughs> Excuse me, right? Excuse me, I forgot it, right? Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay, very good. Very good. <laughs> Excuse me, very good. But you remember at the end. Maria, Siwensa, what is the best option for you? For me, I will have invited him out for a meal. I will have invited him out for a meal. Very good. And where will where would you have gone? I don't know habría invitado. Which restaurant? Um, Hacienda Real. Oh, very good. Fancy, right? Hacienda Real. Very good. <laughs> Let's see it, right? <laughs> very good. Perfect. So, uh, this, you see, these are just suggestions, right? Suggestions, right? Advice. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Here. So, we're going to explain the grammar, okay? The grammar to uh, create sentences for suggestions, okay? So these are past models. Use would have or should have plus past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. So would have, what is the meaning of would have or should have? What, what does it mean that? How do you translate that? Uno se literalmente debería. Debería. Ajá, deberías. El otro es una obligación. So, which one is an obligation, Eric? Should. 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 Okay, so let's let's be clear. This this one is for suggestions, uh, to give an opinion or to give a suggestion. Es para dar una opinión. Yo le pido su opinión a usted. That tengo un problema y yo quiero saber qué es lo que opina usted porque me puede dar una buena uh, una buena un buen consejo. So these are just opinions and suggestions, not obligations, right? Not obligations. So what should I have done? ¿Qué debería de haber hecho? So should have is debería de haber, right? Debería de haber done, hecho, right? And what would you have done? ¿Qué habrías hecho tú o usted? What would you have done? So we have examples, right? You should have told them about it. Deberías haberles dicho. Deberías haberles dicho. You should have told them about it. You shouldn't have hidden it. No deberías haberlo escondido, right? So should have es deberías haber. Deberías haberles dicho. Deberías haberlo escondido. It depends on the verb, right? So we have should plus have plus the past participle of the verb. And I would have called him. I would have called him. Yo los hubiera llamado. Yo los habría llamado. Es. Yo los habría llamado. O yo no les habría mandado el texto. I wouldn't have sent him a text. So yo los would have es habría. Y siempre después del would have se pone el verbo en past participle. Questions about this? Questions? Questions? Do you have any questions? Um, teacher, in, in, a, in a second, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have the, the, the verb. 
The verb is not, sorry. It's not on the past. What what what, what is the it's verb there? Uh, the ver uh, um on the first one say I would have called we called him. Uh, I would have called yeah. him. Uh -huh. Call him. In the second, uh, I wouldn't have sent. Uh -huh. Sent is the is, is the text is the verb in the past. Yes, this is it's the past participle, right? It's the past participle. Send es enviar, right? Send es enviar, but it's spelled s e n d. Mm, yes. So the past the past participle of send is sent. Okay. So it will be we are going to use the past participles. Estudien los pasados participios de los verbos, porque en esto van a ocuparlos o tendrían que ocuparlos. Now I need, uh, well, we can write some examples where we are going to continue, right, with the past models. Uh, it's, for example, it says subject plus would have or should have plus past participle plus the complement, right? I would have eaten more vegetables. Habría comido más vegetales. Yo habría comido más vegetales. For questions, para preguntas, WH, WH word, right? Why, where, when, who, would, should, plus the subject, plus have, plus past participle. For example, what should she have said mm -hmm. in the class? ¿Qué habría dicho ella en la clase? ¿O qué debería de haber dicho ella en la clase, right? What should she have said in the class? It's kind of complicated because of the structure but you just need to practice, okay? Practice. Do you have any questions about the structure? No. Okay, this is just to sum up. Is this uh, some the rules, right, in general? So this will be, this is for a question, should I? I think, uh, should I plus the verb, right? I want advice about something. So should if I want advice about something. I think you should, or I don't think you should, or I think you shouldn't, right? So should es debería, right? No, it's not an obligation. Should I buy the red shirt or the blue shirt, right? I think you should buy the red one. I think you should buy the red shirt, right? Because it is nicer than the blue one. So should is what should I do, right? But sometimes we have done the mistake or the problem or the error. We have had that already, and we want to... to uh, know the response right so for past models these are the these are the this is the the formula right let's see here it says we can use should have plus past participle and would have plus past participle to give opinions and suggestions right you should have studied more for the test i wouldn't have eaten so much candy Right, so those are examples. Let's see, and these are these are more examples about it, right? So, for example, what should I have done? What should I have done? ¿Qué se supone que debería de hacer? For example, let's see, Jaime Hernandez. I found a lot of yes. money. Let's say, uh, let's say, if I if I if I ask you for an advice, like it says the example, I found a lot of money, but I didn't take it to the police. Instead, I bought many things with the money. Why should I have done? ¿Qué debería de haber hecho, Jaime? What should I have done? Oh, okay, teacher. If if we I have, uh, we yes. have suggestions here. We have suggestions. Oh yes. Yes. If I found a lot of money, mm -hmm. I I would have uh, uh, report <laughs> reported <laughs> report report it uh, on on police. So you should have told you should have you should have told the police instead of spend the money. Yes. Okay, so 
For example, if I ask you, Jaime, uh, why should I have done? ¿Qué debería de haber hecho? Entonces, uh, you can tell me you should have or you shouldn't have, right? So it is not necessary to say I would have, right? Mm. If, for example, if if they somebody asks you with should, you answer with sure, right? But you should yes. have used that money, right? You should have used that money, right? So, si le preguntan con should, traten de responder con should. Pueden okay. responder con would, si pueden, pero it's it's better you it's better, right? When you answer with the same uh, conditional or model, sorry, model. Uh, for example, uh, Walter Quintanilla, are you there, Walter? Yes, teacher. Okay, I saw somebody stealing something from a supermarket, but I didn't tell anybody. What should I have done? Uh, I'm sorry, teacher. What does that mean? Stealing. Stealing. Very good question, right? If you don't answer, if you don't know anything, let me know. Stealing, robar right okay. i saw somebody stealing something from a supermarket but i didn't tell anybody i didn't tell anybody what should i have done you should you should have uh, uh, told the police exactly very good very good you should have told the police or you should have informed the security guard Let's see, Jose Ramirez. My mother told me a secret and I told my father. Now my mother is mad at me. What should I have done? Um, you shouldn't you shouldn't have told your father the secret. Exactly. Very good. Perfect. You shouldn't have told your father the secret, right? So if I ask you with should, try to answer with should. Perfect. And the same, right, with would, right? Would, what would you have done? When we use would, um, we use we uh, we normally ask the other people, ¿Qué habría hecho tú, verdad? Pero con el should, ¿Qué debería de haber hecho yo, verdad? So that is like the main difference with between should and would. So what would you have done? ¿Qué habrías hecho tú? For example, let's see, Eric Cardoza. I said a bad word in class and the teacher asked me to leave the class. What would you have done, Eric? I wouldn't have said bad words in, in class. Very good. I wouldn't have said bad words in class. Perfect. So that is the response, right? We have the response here. I wouldn't have said. Perfect. Let's see. Um, Carla Marino, are you there, Carla? Yes, teacher. Perfect. I will ask you something. I went to bed late last night because I went to a party. The next day, I woke up late and I arrived late at work. What would you have done? You... Um, it's a recommendation, no? Yes, it's the, uh, sí, es una recomendación. I'm, I'm asking you your opinion. ¿Qué habría hecho usted? What would you have done? What would you have done, Carla? Um, maybe I would. Mm -hmm. I will take. I will. Uh, I would. I will have take a uh, red bull maybe for feel for have energy. A Red Bull? Oh, and when I had something, I don't know. Energizer. Uh, I would have taken an energizer. Okay, very good. That's a very good recommendation. We have another one here. It says, I would have gone to bed early. That is another recommendation, right? Very obvious. Perfect, perfect, Carla. Let's see. Uh, Juan Linares. Are you there, Juan Linares? Yes, teacher. Okay, I will ask you something. I will. I need your opinion, Juan. I didn't close the door last week, and someone entered our house and stole our TV and some money. What would you have done? Did you? 
uh, report the police? Uh, I would have called the police. Yes, that's a really good recommendation. And we have another one here. It says, I wouldn't have left the door, the door open. It's very good, perfect. So you see, this is the structure, subject would have, past participle and complement, for would have, and for should, subject plus should have plus past participle plus complement. So I will share this information with you tomorrow since it's the last class. So now I need some help, volunteers, voluntarios, para que me ayuden a completar esta conversación. Complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. It says, the cashier gave me too much change. What should I have? Done. Done, perfect. Oh. And the next, next one, letter B, you should have? Said. Said something. Perfect. You shouldn't have? Taken. Okay. Taken the money, perfect. Let's see, number two. I ignored an email from someone I don't like. What would you have? Done. 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 Perfect. I would have replied. Replied to the person. Very good. I would have replied to the person. It just takes a minute. Number three. I was watching a good movie when my phone rang. What should I have? Done. 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 You should have taken. taken. Perfect. You should have taken the call and and told the and told the person you called back later. Perfect. You see, in this one, I use two verbs. You should have taken the call and told the person you'd call back later. You see, two verbs. Perfect. Number four, the last one. We left all our trash at the campsite. What would you have? Done. Perfect. Oh. I would have taken, taken it with me and throw. 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 What is the past participle of throw? Throw. Okay, el pasado participio de throw mm -hmm. es through. Vamos a ver. <laughs> Let's see. Thrown. Very good. Thrown. Thrown. Very good. So this one is done. The past participle of say is said. Take, taken, reply, replied, do, done, take, taken, tell, told, do, done, again, take, taken, and throw, thrown, right? Through is the past, right? The simple past. Perfect, very good. So I think that you don't have any questions right, right now. Do you have questions, preguntas? What is throw? Sorry, what was the question? Throw. Throw, tirar. Throw, right? Like throw a ball. Yes, that is the meaning of throw, tirar. Perfect. Let's see what time it is. 9.42. Okay. Yes, I think that we have time to do this. These are situations and these are suggestions, right? It says, what would, what would have been the best thing to do? ¿Cuál habría sido la mejor cosa de hacer? So we have suggestions, a lot of suggestions, right? You can read them. I don't know if you're able to read them. ¿Pueden alcanzar a verlas? Can you see them? Yes. 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 Okay, and we have situations, right? I will, I will uh, read the situation and you can give me the suggestions, right? Uh, let's see. The teacher borrowed my favorite book and spilled coffee all over it. What would be the best suggestion, right? For, for this teacher who spilled coffee all over my favorite book. We have, you should have spoken to him about it. I wouldn't have spoken to the teacher about it. I would have waited for the owner to return. I wouldn't have said anything. You should have warned her not to do it again. You should have left a note for the owner. I would have told her that I prefer something else or you should have exchanged it for something else. Letter. Which letter? A, B, C, D, E, F, G or H? Letter. Answer A. 
Letter B. Letter B, B right? Teacher about it. Yes. B. I would have hey. spoken to the teacher about it. Hey, teacher, you spilled coffee all over my favorite book. Buy me a new one, right? Perfect. Let's see another one. Number two. Let's see. Jose Ramirez, choose one of your classmates. Escoja oh. uno de sus compañeros, Jose Ramirez. Okay. Um, let me see who else. Um, Maria Siguenza. Maria Siguenza, are you there, Maria? Yes, it's here. Okay. I need, I need your opinion. I saw a classmate cheating on an exam. So I wrote her an email about it. What would be the best suggestion for this situation? What is meaning cheating? Cheating. Cheating is que estaba haciendo trampa, right? Estaba haciendo copiando, exactly. I saw a classmate cheating on an exam. Um, letter B. Letter D. B, B, B. I will have spoken to the teacher about it. Oh, so you have you have uh, you on. would have spoken to the teacher. So you have to say, hey teacher, look at my friend is is cheating on the exam. <laughs> yes. Did you, do, did you do that in the school? Hacía eso en la escuela usted. Sí. No, right? <laughs> no. Okay, very good. Maria, choose someone else. Okay. Uh, Walter Quintanilla. Walter Quintanilla. Okay, Walter. A friend of mine always has messy hair. So I gave him a comb for his birthday. What would be the a good suggestion for that? Would you have done the same thing, or what would be the, the uh, better suggestion here? Teacher, uh, what does mean messy? Messy yeah. is like disorganized, right? Uh, like dirt, like despeinado, right? Messy. He hurt. he now used the comb. <laughs> yeah, he was. He didn't use the comb. A comb, exactly. So I, I gave him a comb for his birthday. That what would be the a be, a, the better suggestion for this situation? Okay. Mm. What would be a good suggestion? Okay, I'll be here to stay. Uh huh. Go ahead. There. Letter G. Letter G. I would have told her that I prefer something else. That you prefer something else, or you would have given to him something different. So you you should have uh, you should had given him something different, right? Not a comb. Yes. Yes, Un bote yes. de gelatina, a gel, right? <laughs> Very okay. good, Walter. Okay. Walter, choose someone else. Jaime Hernandez. Jaime Hernandez. Okay, Jaime. Walter wants you to speak. It says, I hit someone's car when I was leaving a parking lot. Luckily, no one saw me. What would be the, your suggestion for this situation? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, uh, letter, letter A. Letter A, you should have spoken to him about it? Yes. So you, you should have said something, right, to the to the other driver. And it says here, no one saw me. So probably he was not there. Probably another suggestion uh, besides that one is I you should have left a note, right, for the owner. They had a note, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So you should have left a note. Jaime, choose the last one. Escoja el último. Okay, teacher. Mm. 
Eh, Noé. Noé, ok. Are you there, Noé? Yes, teacher. Ok, the situation says, my aunt gave me a wool sweater. I can't wear wool, so I gave it back. What would you do in this situation, or what would be the best suggestion? Letter A. Letter A? Yes. Or letter... You should have spoken to him about it. Very good. You should have said... What would you have said? You should have changed it for something else. Okay, you should. You can change it for something else, right? Or that you prefer something else. Yes. Very good. Perfect, perfect. So... I think that we have the idea, right, about suggestions and uh, this kind of, of exercises. Let's see what time it is. We still have 10 minutes, so I think that we are going to finish with this exercise, with the listening. And tomorrow we will have more suggestions for you to practice, okay? Tomorrow also we will have pronunciation, a pronunciation, pronunciation about the regular verbs. So I want you to have this before finishing all the classes. But today we are going to finish with this, a listening. It says, listen to three people talk about predicaments. Number them from one to three in the order they are discussed. So you are going to listen and you have to order, right? For example, two people were fighting in the street. Our friend lost all of her money while traveling. Our friend has a serious shopping problem. So you need to check which one is first, second, and third, right? Just let me find it here. No, 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 this one. Okay. For exercise 10, listening. I'm calling about Yes, I guess this is a different one. I guess this is a different one, a different listening. Let me see if it is the same one. Yes, this is different, but we can listen to this. I think it is kind of similar. Let's listen to this. Part A. Listen to people calling Dr. Hilda, a counselor on a radio talk show. Complete the chart. This is Dr. Hilda. Welcome to today's show. Now let's get started right away with our first caller. Hello. Hello, Dr. Hilda. I'm calling about my daughter. She's... she's dating an older man. Oh? How old are these two people? My daughter's 24, and this man is 42. Mm-hmm. I told her she had to stop seeing him, and... And now she won't speak to me. I feel terrible. Tell me, Dr. Hilda, what should I have done? First, you should have spoken to this 42-year-old man. You should have asked him not to date your daughter for a couple of weeks, to give the situation some time to cool off. Then, if they still want to see each other, and if the man seems like a nice person, you should let your daughter date him. You shouldn't worry so much about the age difference. Okay, now let's go to our next caller. Hello, caller. Hello? Uh, I'm a first-time caller, and, uh, well, my problem is that my father went away on a business trip, and I borrowed his brand-new car, and I had an accident. Where is your mother? She's away, visiting some friends. All right, go on. Well, I sent an email to my father and I... I told him... Well, I told him someone had stolen the car. Oh, you should have told your father the truth. Your father would probably understand about a car accident and he would be glad you weren't hurt. <laughs> I'm not too sure about that. Oh, give it a try, young man, because the truth is always better than a lie. Okay, now let's hear from our next caller. This is Dr. Hilda. You're on the air. Hi. Um, I'm calling about a problem. It's kind of a personal problem, but it also concerns work. Yes, go on. 
Well, I invited some friends from the office to my house for a party a couple of weeks ago, and everything was fine until someone started talking about politics. Oh, you shouldn't have let the subject of politics come up. Well, it came up, and I, uh, well, I got really angry at one of my co-workers, and to prevent a fight, I asked him to leave. And what happened after that? Well, now it's caused a big problem in the office. He won't even speak to me. Again, you shouldn't have talked about politics at a party. It's not a safe topic. That's for sure. And you shouldn't have gotten so angry either. That's true, but what should I do now? You should apologize. Well, maybe that's a good idea. I'll give it a try. Good. Well, folks, that's another show. I'm Dr. Hilda. Join us again next time. Very good. Did you check all of the problems and all of the suggestions? Or do you want to listen to it again? <laughs> I, would, I would like to listen again. Okay, now I, ne I need you to take notes. I need you to take notes and I need you to write the problem and the suggestions, okay? Problem one, suggestion one, problem two, suggestion two, problem three, suggestion three. And I will ask you, right, what is the problem and what is the suggestion, okay? Take notes. Traten de tomar notas, okay? Okay, I will play it again. Let's see here. The last time. Pay attention because this uh, can be useful for tomorrow's activity. Or exercise 10, listening. I'm calling about part A. Listen to people calling Dr. Hilda, a counselor on a radio talk show. Complete the chart. This is Dr. Hilda. Welcome to today's show. Now let's get started right away with our first caller. Hello. Hello, Dr. Hilda. I'm calling about my daughter. She's She's dating an older man. Oh? How old are these two people? My daughter's 24, and this man is 42. Mm-hmm. I told her she had to stop seeing him, and, and now she won't speak to me. I feel terrible. Tell me, Dr. Hilda, what should I have done? First, you should have spoken to this 42-year-old man. You should have asked him not to date your daughter for a couple of weeks to give the situation some time to cool off. Then, if they still want to see each other, and if the man seems like a nice person, you should let your daughter date him. You shouldn't worry so much about the age difference. Okay, now let's go to our next caller. Hello, caller. Hello? Uh, I'm a first-time caller, and, uh... Well, my problem is that my father went away on a business trip, and I borrowed his brand new car, and I had an accident. Where is your mother? She's away, visiting some friends. All right, go on. Well, I sent an email to my father, and I... I told him... Well, I told him someone had stolen the car. Oh, you should have told your father the truth. Your father would probably understand about a car accident, and he would be glad you weren't hurt. <laughs> I'm not too sure about that. Oh, give it a try, young man, because the truth is always better than a lie. Okay, now let's hear from our next caller. This is Dr. Hilda. You're on the air. Hi. Um, I'm calling about a problem. It's kind of a personal problem, but it also concerns work. Yes, go on. Well, I invited some friends from the office to my house for a party a couple of weeks ago, and everything was fine until someone started talking about politics. Oh, you shouldn't have let the subject of politics come up. Well, it came up, and I, uh, well, I got really angry at one of my co-workers, and to prevent a fight, I asked him to leave. And what happened after that? 
Well, now it's caused a big problem in the office. He won't even speak to me. Again, you shouldn't have talked about politics at a party. It's not a safe topic. That's for sure. And you shouldn't have gotten so angry either. That's true, but what should I do now? You should apologize. Well, maybe that's a good idea. I'll give it a try. Good. Well, folks, that's another show. I'm Dr. Hilda. Join us again next time. Okay, perfect. So we're going to check really fast the, the answers, okay? Number one, what was the problem for number one, for caller number one? What was the problem? Um, her daughter is dating with a old man. Yeah, exactly. Was a mother and the daughter was dating an older man. Very good. How old was the mother? I'm sorry, how old was the daughter? Sorry, <laughs> not the mother, the daughter. How old 24. was the daughter? 24. 24. Exactly. And the man? 42. 42, 42. right. Yes, like almost like 20 years almost, right. Uh, what was the suggestion? What was the best advice that Dr. Hilda gave? Um, Dr. Hilda said the, the mother had, um, should have spoken. Should have spoken with his yes, she with should, her she should talk to the man, right? She, she should talk to the man, right? And uh, she shouldn't worry about the age, right? The age gap. That would be the best suggestion, right? Okay, perfect. Number two, color two. What was the problem with color two? He had a uh, car accident. Exactly. His mother. Mother, I think. Mother or father's car? Father. Father. Father's, father's car, father. right. Exactly. In his father's car. And what happened? What was the suggestion for this accident? He has, he has to hide it or what, what will he do? According to Dr. Hilda. Uh, um, he, he should to spoken with his father and tell him the answer. The, the, yes. Uh, the, huh? the truth. He, he don't like Yes, exactly. Dr. Hilda said that he should have spoken to the father or he should have told the truth, right? And the truth is better than a lie, right? And that he will be glad that he was not hurt. No se lastimó. Very good. Perfect. And the last one, what was the problem for caller three? Uh, a party. They have a party in the club. Uh, Walker, the office. Mm -hmm. And what was the problem? Polite and was politics, right? In the party, they were talking about politics, right? And that's a very, very delicate topic, right? And what happened in the party when they talked about politics? What happened? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he got really angry, right? He got, he got really angry. Yeah, because of the politics, right? You are right wing, right? You are left wing, right? So de la derecha, de la izquierda, del centro. They got really angry and they got upset, right? With the co-worker, they fight about politics. And what was the suggestion from Dr. Hilda? have apologize apologize what is the meaning of apologize disculparse. disculparse exactly apologize you should apologize with your co-worker i say sorry right sorry i didn't mean it i was drunk probably because it was a party so no no hard feelings right perfect so that was the best suggestion you know you need to apologize you should apologize Perfect. So that would be the class for today. 
Uh, hopefully, this vocabulary will be useful for tomorrow. So tomorrow we will have an activity. Everybody, please try to speak uh, tomorrow, which will be the last class. And you can bring soda, you can bring cake, you can bring snacks if you want to. So you can share with everybody, okay? Okay, perfect. So see you tomorrow and have a nice night, okay? Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.